Hey guys, welcome to my first RimWorld Let's Play. Uh, if you didn't already know, RimWorld is about a game where uh, three survivors of a plane crash are stranded on a planet and they have to build a colony. Uh, but rather than explain it to you, I'm just going to show it to you. So first off, let's create a world. Just random seed. Doesn't really matter what size you choose, because this is the size of the, of the world map. Uh, let's just choose that and generate. So, yeah, that looks good to me. So now we need to start a new colony. So, there's three different storytellers, which is kind of how the game unfolds. So, like, there's Cassandra Classic. Um, so it's just a pretty much regular um, kind of gameplay. Then there's a Phoebe Base Builder, so that lets you build up a base. Um, but... Uh, so there's lots of time in between disasters to relax and build your colony. Um, but it does, it, when the events do come, they are pretty hard, just, just like they would be with Cassandra. And then there's Randy Random, which just completely random. Could be really hard at the beginning, really hard at the end, whatever. Just really random. So I think we'll do Cassandra Classic, uh, just probably just in a rough, so that it's uh, not too hard, not too easy, and we'll go from there. And we'll choose the planet we just made. Alright, now let's look through the planet and try to find a place to live. Uh, so we could live up in the tundra. So this gets really hard to, to get food because it's really cold. Uh, so you can only grow stuff between June and July. Um, we can go somewhere, uh, somewhere in the desert here. That might be kind of, that might be okay, just l less trees, so it's harder to build things. Uh, there's the jungle, year-round growing, it's always really hot. Um, but let's go for something sort of in the middle, I guess. Maybe something April to September. Yeah, that doesn't seem too bad. Because we don't want it too hot, but we don't want to get freezing cold either. But we don't want it to be too easy. Yeah, let's do something with an April to September growing period. Maybe... Yeah, let's do... Yeah, yeah let's do this one. And let's... I don't want to do anything on the too big of side, because it's a little uh, untested, so we'll just do the biggest that we can. And the auto month will start in April. That way we start in a growing period. It's not too cold for us. All right, let's go. So now we need to decide, we need to choose our colonists. So we need to kind of take a look at their skills and their age and just kind of see what, um, what they're going to give us. So here's an artist. He's good at art, uh, melee attacks. Um, he's 29 years old. Uh, but his biological or his chronological age was 76. So he's been in existence for 76 years, but he's actually biologically only 29. Uh, don't really like the look of that. Art isn't the most important thing to start out. Um, either is social. Mm, that one's not bad, but uh, there's a couple of things. Yeah, he's incapable of a lot of things. But he's only 15. So, he's good at growing, good at melee, good at mining. We'll, we'll see what else we get. Uh, scientists, yeah, you don't want to really get anyone over 30 to start with. So, you know, this one's not bad. It's kind of all around, but he's not really good at anything, so maybe not quite yet. See, unfortunately, the old people are really good at things, and the young people are not. Um, it's kind of hard when you're starting out. Okay, this one's not too bad. This one's not bad. Um, she, she can mine, uh, she can be a doctor, she can attack. Uh, no, I don't like that one either. Okay, here, we've got a chef and a doctor. That's a good one. I'll take that one. Let's see what else we can get for this one. Uh, okay, good. We've got a construction worker, a miner, uh and uh, a combat guy, so that's not bad. I'll take that one, too. Let's see what else we can find. I'm looking for the age first, and then we'll look at the skills. This one's not bad. He can grow, 
but I don't think... Okay, yeah. He doesn't go too bad with our skills. He can grow. But he should have... Uh, a... It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um... Yeah, let's go with these guys. Alright, let's get in it. Three of you, three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of the siren and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on an unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded ship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. All right, so looks like our colonists survived the plane crash, and uh, let's get into the game. So first things first, I'm going to want to pause the game. That way, you know, I can take a look around my surroundings, and I get an idea of what the map looks like. It's not too bad. Um, so, so here we've got the uh, items that kind of spawned with us. So this is silver, it's kind of like the currency in the game. So right now, we can't pick them up because of the check marks. So I'll click that, now we can pick them up. Here's some steel. So metal, so another, like a basic building, building tool. So let's be able to pick those guys up. Wood, very important. Uh, this guy's, this is food. Some medicine. Uh, oh, and uh, what I'm doing is to select them all, I double click on one and it selects all that's in your view. We've got here some weapons. So a rifle, a knife, a pistol. So here are my colonists technician, a chef, and an oaf. So if we take a look at their skills here. So she can't shoot, but she can melee, so she should probably pick up the knife. He's not bad at shooting. So he's not the greatest at shooting, so he'll get the pistol. He's better at shooting, so he'll get the rifle. Um, so now we let's try and find a place where we want to actually build a colony. Um, so we could build like a fortress or something like that. We could even dig into the mountain and build a colony in there. That doesn't sound too bad. Um, so these little holes here are what I'm kind of looking for because these are uh, geothermal energy. So you can build a little energy plant over top and actually harvest that energy. Um, so I want to find a probably a good spot. This doesn't seem too bad. I don't mind this spot right here. Uh, we've got a little, little almost pre-built building, building here, so we can probably get a, just a little starter house there while we get everything else built. So I think I'm gonna have my colonists come down there. I think that's the best spot. All right. So let's. Oh, there's some more silver. So let's select all that. Some more metal too. All right. So. I don't want to do is click this button down here. It kind of brings up the stuff you can do. So these are the orders that we can do, the zones we make, production, structures like walls and stuff. Um, so first comes first, we want to build a stockpile. What stockpile does it allows our our uh, colonists to drag like the wood, the uh, silver, the steel, and the food and stuff over to the stockpile. So. We'll put our stockpile right here. Right, and we'll drag all that kind of stuff there. Um, and then second thing is a dumping stockpile. So for any garbage stuff like these uh, kind of slag rocks or dead bodies and stuff, we'll just want them to drag them over here for now. Just to, oops, I didn't want that. Just to get started. All right. And uh, if we want to make this a little bit of a home just to start out with, Let's go to structure, and uh, instead of steel wall, we'll make wood ones, because it's a little bit cheaper. And we'll fill it in. Uh, and instead of filling in this one, let's go to the door, and we'll fill that in. And then we we'll want to build some beds for the colonists. Uh, that way, they don't have to sleep on the floor, because I hate that. So let's do bed, 
bed, bed. Ah, uh, that should be good. It's not too cold outside, so they should be okay for now. So let's get things started. So C's needs to build a room, open the info card, and colonists needs a bed. Alright, well they'll get all that kind of stuff sorted. So while they're doing out, um, uh, let me know if you guys want me to play this on like, fast mode, like this, so they speed ahead. Or if you want me to play it with slow so you guys can see everything. I'm just going to grab this food. Um, yeah, just let me know what, uh, what you guys would prefer to do. Because I'll certainly do whatever you prefer. Uh, so just put down in the comments or something like that. Uh, for now, I'll play it slow. Uh, we'll, we'll just get things started. I think uh, just to start, uh, we'll get this little base built, get the beds up, uh, and then maybe start a little growing area. And I think that'll do it for this episode. So while they're kind of building that, what I want them to do is, if I go to Orders tab, I want them to chop the wood. So if I choose chop wood and I'll select an area, it'll select all the trees that are available to be chopped. So I'll do that so that way we can get some wood. Uh, harvest will, if you see these berry plants here, what they'll do is they will get us berries. Oop, I don't have any berry plants. There's some. Oop, but they're too young. Let's see if I can find any. Oh, there's a couple down here couple up here. Alright, so that'll get us some food in the meantime. And now, let's start a bit of a small little growing zone. Next to here. Something like that. And, uh, what should we grow here? There's plenty of things we can grow. For now, let's just do a staple potato plant. Uh, so that should be okay. Our base is almost done is nice. Uh, but right now, um, in order to get this base built, see how they're, one's chopping trees, one's growing, and I don't know where the other one went. Eh, she's gathering stuff. Let's set their priorities. So on this screen, we can see what each one of them prioritizes. So what I like to do, instead of doing this, if you click up here, you can change it to a number-based system, and that way you choose number one is first, two is second, three and then four um, and so that way if it's set to number one if I set doctoring to number one for this guy that is the first thing that he will think to do is to be a doctor uh, I usually like to set these first ones uh, all at one that way they can all be a patient they'll always seek treatment they'll always help a patient and then they'll always put out fire uh, I'm not putting this guy as a doctor because he's only three. Well, this guy's six and eight, so they're much better at it. Um, so, wardening. So, if we ever get any prisoners and stuff, that's not that big a deal. Uh, for now, we'll just set a warden to one. Um, so, that means he feeds the prisoners that we capture. Uh, he's going to be our chef. So, other than that, I don't really want him doing much. Um, I just want him to be cooking. But for now, because um, we're just starting, there's not much to cook. He can do construction things. Uh, they can all repair things. So if anything's broken, uh, you're going to be my grower. Uh, you can mine as well. Um, and if they're the, they're the same number, like two and two, they'll do what comes first. So he'll do cooking before he does construction. Um, plant cutting would be like trees. So they can all do that. Uh, this this oaf, she's gonna kind of be my grunt labor. So she'll be kind of doing anything like uh, repairing things, cutting trees down, um, hauling rocks and stuff, that kind of thing. I won't worry about research too much right now and then art and crafting, those will come later. But for now, I want a miner. Uh, construction person and a grower. So I think that's probably good for now. So what I'm going to do, yeah, this guy's he's on his way to build the door right now. So once he does that, place everything, there we go. So he's off to get some, where's he off to? Off to get some wood. Get everything started. 
So she's making the ground nice, uh, nice and fertile for this. Should be good. I'll click on the info tab. So you can see there's a whole lot of stats here. So for now we'll just ignore those and we'll get to them later. So it still wants us to build a room and some beds. So he he's finishing up the door, which is perfect. There we go. And uh, we need to just finish this last wall up. It looks like he's headed to sleep. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, no. Okay, Ryan's coming here. Uh, if I want to manually select him to build the door, I'd right click on it and then right click on the little what I want him to do and then click the prioritize. So if I do that now, that's what he's going to do. He's probably got some wood in his inventory still. There. So I've got a room built now. So. As you can see, it's 23 degrees. There's a little temperature there. 23 degrees inside, 23 degrees outside. It's so not much difference. It's pretty warm. Uh, it's not too cold. Um, everything seems to be going all right for now. And uh, now that we got that all set up, I think we are good to go for now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the second video. Let me know um, if there's if there's any uh, if you guys have any hints or tips or tricks or anything you'd like to see, mods or anything like that, uh, or any other games you want to do a let's play for, just let me know. Alright, thanks for watching.